Uh, we're going to be looking into the MLB playoffs right now. Um, weekend TV ratings, let's just say this. The NFL absolutely blowing apart Major League Baseball right now. But does this come as any surprise to you? It really doesn't. You know, baseball is my favorite sport. It's the sport that I really grew up, you know, watching with my dad and have always been most passionate about. But let's face it, MLB should be scheduling around the NFL because they're never going to outdraw the NFL, and they need to recognize that about themselves and schedule accordingly. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, I grew up playing it. I mean, that was my sport that I absolutely loved, played throughout college and all the way after that, and you know what? Loved it, to say the least. But I can't stand watching it. I will still go out and watch the NFL, which, you know, played in high school. So, I mean, that's, I absolutely love that. I mean, so for people to kind of be surprised about this, the MLB, in my mind, did a really poor job of scheduling these things, didn't they? I agree. You know, the games are sort of all over the map. People always complain during the playoffs about all the day games during the week that are played. But the problem is on the weekend, you're going up against college football and then the NFL. So they really need to take a look at the scheduling and find a way that works where people can make it to the games, people can watch the games. You know, I, I saw their ratings and the Packers far outdrew the Brewers and Milwaukee in terms of ratings. And this is the first division title for the Brewers, I think, in 29 years. But the Packers are the defending Super Bowl champions. So yeah. that's who's going to get the ratings on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And I think baseball just needs to recognize that you know, and work around the schedule. Yeah, to kind of put it lightly, I mean, you look at the, the ratings between the Yankees and Tigers of the ALDS Game 4, uh, averaging right around 7 million viewers right there. So to put it in perspective for, for folks at home, Christy, you know what, right now is sweeps month for regular television folks. So when they're going out there and saying, okay, what did these brand new TV shows get? Right around 7 million, seven million people, if you're a little bit below that, you're getting cut. Your show is off the air right now. So exactly. are they going to be pulling this off too? I mean, can we just take the Yankees off? I'm not a Yankees fan, so can we take them off the air right now? <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see them go off there. You know, both of my teams caved there at the end, the Braves and the Red Sox. So it's tough for me to watch the postseason because it's so painful. Yeah, uh, to say the least. But, you know, they are trying to make some moves and trying to make some adjustments. It's already been out that uh, Terry Francona, I mean, we mentioned the Boston Red Sox is a perfect lead into this. Terry Francona is now uh, replacing Tim McCarver for games one and two of the ALCS. What do you make of this move? I think it's a really interesting move. You know, he's a guy I think a lot of people like, even people who aren't necessarily Red Sox fans. And he's he's allowed them to mic him up during the season for a few years now, and has been pretty vocal and does a good job with broadcasting from what I've seen. So, and that that gives a little extra buzz to the playoffs. And you and I know that Francona is going to do Game One and Game Two, but how many of your average fans know that? You know. I'm not sure that it's really going to be that big of a draw or that your average man even knows it's going to happen.